The real question is, are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm so ready that I got my boots on, I got my full set of teeth in, <laughs> and let's roll. Because today, we're gonna get sued. You guys wanna get sued? I wanna get sued. Because today, we're doing a couple of dares, and uh, well, let's say we got Marvel, we got the Muppets, and we got some Nintendo in there, and uh, well, we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna have some fun today. Uh, Daryl Berry dared me to draw the Muppet Avengers. And uh, then Ken Ressinger alternatively dared me to draw the Avengers versus Liquid Donkey Kong. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash those puppies together. So uh, sit your butts down and get ready because I'm about to slap my inky paintbrush all over a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try to treat this like a comic book uh, cover in, in some, some kind of way. So actually I'm gonna start off with uh, just like the logo and uh, whatnot. I'm thinking of calling it the Mupp Avengers. What do you think? All right, place your bets now. Did I leave enough room to write Mupp Avengers here? <laughs> I don't even know yet. I'm just kind of winging it as I usually do. Maybe one of these days I'll just start penciling it in first. I don't know. That day is not today. Not really. <laughs> Planning ahead is never taking a step back. <laughs> I think Sam Eagle is rad. I always really enjoyed his character design. He definitely haunts my dreams. Yeah, there's something about that, the, the design of his puppet that really sticks with you. But his personality kind of leaves something lacking, but he would make a perfect Nick Fury, I'd say. So I got, me and uh, the wife have been watching uh, WandaVision, which was awesome and actually inspired us to be like, you know what, let's watch all the ones that we haven't watched since they first came out, which was a while ago, so we went through and having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, the Vulture, that's... Uh, Spider-Man's first villain, actually, I believe. So Kid, Icar Kid Icarus as Vulture, can do. You got it, thank you very much, Fraggle Greg. Cause when you're drawing words out in like big blocky letters like this, it's easy to lose yourself and then just accidentally spell it wrong. All right, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do the details on the title card later, but. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna start with, I already thought out the, the baseline team for the Muppet Avengers, which is, and this is gonna be controversial, because I know this has been done before on Instagram and by plenty of different artists of the Muppets crossed over with the Avengers, and every time I see it, I'm like, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, this is the only right answer. Okay, we're gonna have Gonzo, the great Gonzo is gonna be Captain America. Um, I already know you're like, why? Uh, we got Miss Piggy is Thor, clearly, easily, she's Thor, all right? And then we got Fozzie is gonna be Iron Man, and then we're gonna have Kermit as the Hulk, all right? And thank you for your live dare, Fraggle Greg. We're gonna also try to squeeze in Sam Eagle as Nick Fury, and we're gonna add in um, Kid Icarus as the Vulture. So I haven't thought of renaming them the Muppet Avengers, so we got right now. The shield of. I'm, call, I'm thinking of calling him the American Weirdo. I always thought Captain America was a really weird superhero, anyway. But I've seen other artists picture Kermit as Iron Man, and I'm like, it doesn't work. They just give him a goatee, <laughs> like an iron bodysuit. I'm like, nah. I'm going for like almost like color themes in, in a way, sort of. Gonzo's already blue, so it's like. And do you ever notice how Captain America has like almost like scales on his armor, like or feathers or something? I'm like, that works perfect. That's perfect for Gonzo. Uh, well, he's so Gonzo in chickens. Gonzo loves chickens. In fact, he has a very specific. His like love of his life is a chicken named Camilla. And therefore he has a penchant for rubber chickens and he basically worships chickens. He's not sure, Gonzo's not sure what he is. 
but he feels like maybe it's a chicken. But clearly it's not. That's not the case. It's funny you asked that because I was about to add not a star to uh, <laughs> the American Weirdo Shield, but a, a, a chicken. Yep, he's fine for chicken kind. So I just heard our, uh, our wonderful new intern, Allie, just informed me that Thor might be joining the Guardians of the Galaxy, or the As Guardians of the Galaxy, if you will. I'm pretty excited about that. How about you? But here we have Miss Piggy as Thor in today's installment of Dare Danger Dan. What do I call him? The, the Iron Punchline? Hey, Kermit! Waka waka! <laughs> so, the worst ones are obviously like the first couple of Hulk movies. Awful. I mean, I'll watch them anyway. But they couldn't even keep the same actor <laughs> like in between any of them, so that was kind of weird. Um, and then, uh, let's see, bottom ones, the, the first two uh, Thor movies, the first two Thor movies are pretty, pretty dismal. Um, which is funny, because then you got Thor Ragnarok, which is like, got Thor and the Hulk, and it's probably one of the best ones, in my opinion. Um, so that's really funny how Kevin Feige tied it all together and was like, you don't want to take the two, uh, like, lowest grossing, least popular uh, individual heroes when they're in their own solo movies and give them one of the best ones. We wanted to see Sam the Eagle as, uh, as uh, Nick Fury. All right, now on to the uh, Nintendo themed Marvel villains. First off, we got Liquid Donkey Kong, not really based on anything, it's just part of the original there. Thank you, uh, Ken Ressinger. So actually when Ken first dared me, he just said the Avengers versus Liquidator plus Donkey Kong. So I had to really take a leap of faith and say, Liquidator, and that, he's actually, when I looked into it, I think he meant, or he was referencing one of the villains from Darkwing Duck, who's a dog made out of liquid. And uh, it said plus Donkey Kong, so I was assuming he wanted to mix those two together. So that's what we're doing with that one. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, we got Kid Icarus Cross with the Vulture thanks to a live dare from Fraggle Greg. No, actually, probably my favorite was just the Muppet, the Muppet Show, the one from like the 70s. Because they always have like celebrity guest stars on there, and that was probably my favorite. No, X Men or Marvel. They just messed up all the film rights to that because Marvel was like pawning off all their properties, like. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, because they were making no money and they're about to go bankrupt, so they're just like, eh, whoever wants whatever, just buy all sorts of different characters. Yep. All right, we got Kid Icarus as the Vulture, we got Drippy Kong. Yeah, this is, I don't think this whole Ganon Magneto thing's working out. That'd be like a, take some time and really draw it out what that would look like, but the limited space I have, it's like, I'm just kind of, it's just gonna look some like some goofy guy in a helmet. See, that, like it's not like once you put Ganon in Magneto's helmet, it's like it just looks like some stupid-looking guy. <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't read well, you know. So I'm just gonna add some very precious details to make this thing the coolest drawing I did in the past ten minutes. I don't know, man. There's just Look, I didn't like the idea in the first place. At least I tried. Yeah, I was there. Gotta make a party. I usually skip this part, but I decided I really want to start making these very pretty if I can. I don't mind doing a little work in post, but I'm gonna make it less if I can. The Mupp Avengers, by far. I mean, they don't have a whole lot going on, really, over on the villain side here. I mean, like, for instance, the American Weirdo's got a rubber chicken, so they, they don't stand a chance, really. Oh, Drippy Kong, oh, Drippy Kong. Where did you go so wrong? The Kermit's always well put together, you know, so I thought he'd make a natural Hulk, because he like, 
probably got a lot of pent up aggression. I will color and post and then you'll, you'll see, you'll all see. I think I might be done, all right. Hey everybody out there in TV land, thank you for tuning into this episode of Dare Danger Dan, where I was dared to draw the Muppet Avengers versus Liquid Donkey Kong. We got some live dares along the way. We want to thank you for the live dares, Mr. Fraggle Grag, all right? He wanted to see uh, Nick Fury as Sam the Eagle, or Sam the Eagle as Nick Fury. He wanted to see Kid Icarus as the Vulture, which I failed at, thank you. And I did a terrible job at this other one too, which was uh, Ganondorf as Magneto. So my fault that it's not good. Honestly, not a bad idea though. Thank you very much for the live dares. I wanna thank uh, Daryl Berry for daring me to do the Muppet Avengers, which is what you see here, the Muppet Avengers, if you will. And uh, I wanna thank you, Ken Ressinger, for daring me to do the Avengers versus uh, Liquid Donkey Kong, all right? And uh, we'll just go through it one last time. We got the American Weirdo. We got Thunder Pig. We got the Iron Punchline. We got Mean Green. We got Peck Fury. <laughs> and then we got, we, I think we have a, our, uh, our new interns, uh, sorry, our new intern Allie dared me to do Toad as Venom. So we got the Venomous Mushroom here. And uh, that about calls it, except for we got Camilla the Chicken here. So, thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Dare Danger Dan. Don't forget to call your mother, all right? And I'll talk to you guys next time.